guys how are you today today i'm gonna be showing you guys this look right here but it's also just gonna be like a try on and like mini reviews on the products that i have tried from the new products from covergirl so i have a lot of new products i have their little kitty cat uh palettes i've got some lip products mascara concealer powder we got a lot going on here so i'm gonna be trying a lot of this out for you guys but anyway if you guys want to see how i got this look please go ahead and keep on watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let's get to it all right guys i already have a lot of my base on not all of it but let me go ahead and show you guys what i used so the first thing i used is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir oh i just realized vitalist vitalist <laughs> um the healthy elixir foundation i love this foundation i actually take it with me when i travel even though it's glass i like it because i can get a really sheer coverage with it if i just apply one layer and use my sponge um, but then i can also get a really full coverage look with it which is great and then i also use this this is new it's their vitalist go glow luminizing lotion and i actually thought this was going to be one of those um like shimmery liquid highlighter type things it's not <laughs> so it was a little bit of a shock when i first used it i don't like to use this by itself I like to actually use my regular lotion first and then use this because I don't find this one super moisturizing by itself. And then I also applied the concealer and that was it. And then everything else um, I still have to do. So the concealer, I feel like it's not the fullest coverage concealer. You guys can see, you can still see my under eyes a little bit. I like to use this more over top of whatever concealer I'm already using because it's very sheer and it's moisturizing. So it's just gonna give it a little bit of brightness because it's a lighter shade and then you know a little bit of hydration so that's what i like to use that one for if you guys don't have very dark under eye circles you might like this for underneath the eyes because it is hydrating okay now we're going to go in with powder and it's just the new vitalist healthy powder and i'm in the shade 725 buff beige and that's what that one looks. it looks a little dark in the pan but when i put it on my skin it actually matches pretty well so i'm going to put this one underneath the eyes it's such a smooth nice powder like it is crazy smooth you guys i don't know i just feel like my skin looks really really smooth when i use this powder and i'm not a big powder person but that one is not cakey in the slightest so if you have dry skin i actually really like that all right now we can get to the fun part the eyes that's why i kind of skipped most of the base and just kind of talked about the products because i just like to get right to the eyes <laughs> that's my favorite part i actually have these two katie cat palettes so this one is in cool cat and this one is in hot cat so I'm actually going to use a little bit of a mixture of both. This one here is basically all shimmers. And some of these are actually more like a glitter type shadow where you kind of need to put something underneath it for that color to really pop. And then it has a lot of glitter. And then this one has some mattes and some shimmers. And the mattes in these are so nice, you guys. They're really, really creamy. We're going to use this shade here in the crease today. Very nice though, right? So creamy, so easy to blend. And these are just really smooth. I was seriously impressed with these mattes. Love them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this brown one right here and I'm gonna place that on the inner and outer corner. I've been trying to do a brown purple halo eye for a while now and it never turns out. We're gonna try it again today. <laughs> and if it doesn't turn out, then Maybe I just need to give it up. <laughs> Do you guys just see how simple that is though? Like there are no harsh lines. These are so ridiculously smooth. So I'm just taking that mauve color again. Like It's like a purpley mauve, I don't know. I'm gonna put that up in the crease some more. Okay, now from there we can take the purple in this palette. We're gonna take this shade right here. And I'm gonna take that on a flat brush. Let me see if I can find one. I do wanna spray it, and I'm not gonna use my Mac Fix Plus, but I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Locket Spray. So this is actually like a setting spray, but we're just gonna use it and see if that works. We're gonna put that in the middle of the lid. In the middle, on the middle. Okay, so now we can take a little bit more of that brown and blend the edges. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I haven't tried this one yet. You guys know I don't like to use too much liner, so I'm gonna apply my mascara first, and then I'll go in with a liner and kind of just like water, water line, tight line. I'm actually really liking this look with the mascara as like an everyday kind of look. 
have to say the mascara is pretty nice. I think I could definitely see myself using this one again. I don't have great lashes to begin with, so I think they look pretty decent. So then I also have the new, their new brow pencil. And mine is in the shade uh, Rich Brown. So it has a little spoolie on the end. And let me show you guys real quick. It's one of those like really skinny ones. I think that looks pretty good. I like it. It's very precise. And it's a, one of those that's like pretty stiff, but not so stiff that it pulls. Let me see if I can show you guys. Like you can still, you see it's not really pulling at my skin, but it's still pretty stiff. So I feel like I got, I have good control with it. So I'm going to go in with the lips now. I'm going to do the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. This is the new one. Uh, what shade is this? Champagne Showers. I really, really like the formula of the CoverGirl Melting Pout Mattes. They're a very thin formula, but still opaque, so you still get that color kind of showing, and it's not drying in the slightest. Like, I cannot feel this on my lips at all when I wear it. So I really, really like this formula. I'm going to put the Katie Cat Gloss in the shade Cantaloupe on top of this, because you guys know I love a gloss. Alright guys, there we have the finished look. I went ahead and added my highlighter and my blush, just the same ones that I always use. Let's go ahead and talk about my favorites and least favorites from the collection. Do you guys want to do that? Love, love, love the mattes in the palettes. I think they're really nice. So if you guys wanted this one, I do think the mattes are really, really nice in this palette. If you guys were looking to get the more colorful one, this one here, they're not going to be the most opaque shadows you've ever tried. So definitely you want to go in with like some kind of liquid shadow or something underneath to really make them pop. But other than that, they're really, really beautiful. And I actually do like the way it looks on my lid. The powder is definitely a winner in my book. Love this powder. It leaves my skin looking super soft and smooth and just looks really nice. This is a great great powder if you're someone with dry skin like me it probably could work with oily skin too i'm not exactly sure i'm just trying to tell you guys like for me with dry skin it works i like it and then the liquid lipsticks are a huge huge winner as well love these liquid lipsticks i really like the mascara i thought it looked really nice and i really liked the brow pencil as well the products that aren't necessarily my favorites aren't bad products either i don't think i tried anything today that was awful and i haven't tried anything from this collection at all that was bad so the things that i'm not loving as much keep that in mind they're not awful but the concealer it's not the most full coverage concealer so it's not my favorite but i do think it's nice for moisturizing underneath the eyes or brightening underneath the eyes the i don't even know what to call this glow lotion <laughs> again not my favorite because i can't use it on its own i like to use it with a different moisturizer just to get even more moisture because i have such dry skin if you don't have dry skin i wonder if this would work for you as like a glowy lotion all in all I found some products that I really love and some products that I'm going to keep in my collection for a long time for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!